Hello everybody and good evening. This is Solar Dark Child and Ami Dark Child welcoming you back to Let's Replay Phoenix Wright is Attorney Justice for All. I got ice cream, Nick. Yes, you do. Uh since last time we got Maya not guilty of murder. Thank again. You. I'm sorry. Again. And for a second time. With the help of uh Pearl channeling Mia. Mm. And also uh a few other things, but... When did Edgy die? I'll explain later. Okay. That's and now... Thing. No, no. <coughs> so now we are taking you back to the present day. Oh boy. Hey, where we take little Pearl to the circus. They got clowns there. Yes, they do. I don't like clowns. Mm. So, without any uh, further delay... Let us continue with Turnabout Big Top. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show! Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of light. <coughs> the world's greatest magician! The one, the only, Maximilian Galactica! I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to the circus. It's been six months since the incident in Kirin Village. It was during that terrible time that I met Pearls. It seems like she is starting to get back to normal. You remember the train! Of course I did! Uh, I really don't understand what everyone means by express train. Well, see you later. I'll come back and help you in the office. It's got to be spotless for you here. Don't worry about it, really. Turn out 
Hey, December 28th, 1912 AM, Brighton Co. Law Offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hmm? That's my cell phone. Hello, this is the right- Nick, it's terrible! Ah, Maya, perfect timing! Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess. I have to clean it all up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office? What are you talking about? Listen, you have to turn the TV. TV? Yeah. Now, let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has has created quite a stir among amongst, amongst the throngs of excited onlookers. The very, I mean, the Berry Big Circus. There was a murder? Yeah. And they arrested him too. They arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica? Let's call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya says she was a huge fan of Max. Huh? What? See you there! You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? <sighs> I guess I got no other choice. So I'll meet with Maya. And our client. December 28th, 11.19am. Detention Center. Visitor's room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand? Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Max of Million Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it! He got it! Look, Nick, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Time to make this an absolutely fabulous time! Max, you should let Nick pick a card. I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me! You must be Sweetie's driver! Her driver? Whatever, her and you just pick a card. <coughs> So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yeah, I'm your 
biggest fan. Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey! Um, what about my card? Thank you, Mr. Superdeer. Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe inducing. Whoops, uh, wrong button. I think we should get to know each other better too. Why don't you come and sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh sweet Jeebus! What in the world? If only I could use my magic, then I could make this all disappear. What is this guy talking about? Lately, you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. Get it straight! Jeez, people nowadays get their panties all up in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed! It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab... I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certainly the greatest magician in the world. didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. You were signed to an exclusive contract with the very big circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure you do your research, sweetheart. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus... It's a dinosaur. A thing of the past. Nowadays, no one ever cares about what goes on there. That's why I signed the contract! That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular! People come in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica! I revived that dinosaur of the circus! But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? I made all the old crusty performances obsolete! Someone 
smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was in the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Question you about what? About everything! I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him that night in his room. Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetheart. They just want to consult with me on the matters. That's all. I'm talking to me! He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over anxious, I think. Oh, that didn't do much good. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. <sighs> Maya, would you please ask him? Fabulous. Why does this guy have to keep saying fabulous? <laughs> Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder. Don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm a very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Uh, um... Max... <laughs> oh, quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Yes? Uh, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I, I didn't kill nobody! Whoa, your dude, your mascara's running. I may be more spoiled than a hog on a hamburger mud pit, but the killer? That's insane. I, I could never. Max? 
swear. I just want to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay. I'll take your case. Really? Really. Um, th thank you much. You're all such nice folks. What's the matter, Maya? He's... He's really a, just a country bumpkin! <coughs> <coughs> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Hmm. Now that he mentions it, I did take his card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? Well, how did he... He got it right! Again! What can I say? You two have stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactic's points. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> oh, I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. December 28th, right in Cola offices this is. Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking, let's get going. Okay. What's the matter? You seem down. His wife exploded. Again. Yeah. That was weird. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was a country bumpkin? Well, next up, the, uh, the circus. December 28th, Big Berry Circus. Circus entrance. We're here again. Yep. But this time, we're here for work. It's... It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Lodging House Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So that stingy clown should be here, huh? He's so kooky. Ah! It's you two! Oh! Detective Gumshoe! I always see you hanging around when I'm working a crime scene, pal! You always seem to be working so hard, Detective. I'd rather not be working hard. But with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. 
Nick! Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. He, let's get back to business now, okay? Sure. Whoops. Examine his face. Do you know who will be prosecutor in tomorrow's court? Of course! It will be Miss Von Karma! Oh boy! Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? But we do we have to see her in court! When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal! Hey, <coughs> Detective Gumshoe, that's enough about Von Karma. What about that guy? What's he up to? That guy? What in the world happened when I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth? You haven't heard about what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he is not around anymore. He's not around? What does he mean, Edgeworth's not around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? <coughs> yup. Hmm. Late last night, around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go out, if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. <coughs> this is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you are standing now. <laughs> I was surprised you didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. It's pretty clear cut as far as murderers go, but he was dis discovered quickly. But... But... There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What is... What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal! Footprints! This picture of the crime scene. What's this? A wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back to heck and are examining it now. And? and what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa! Calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in the picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... <gasps> the killer's footprints aren't there at all. Oh my god, he was killed by a ghost. Bingo! Eh, not about the ghost thing. Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. Uh... Flying criminal? That's when something just clicked in my head. Shit. There's 
no way. Flying is impossible. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Hmm? Better state it. It means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. about the evidence we've gathered. Stingy? Stingy? But I said... When you put it so bluntly, it kinda hurts my feelings, pal. Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? carries a steel samurai police badge. And it's a deal. I think the type of gumshoe has that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. <coughs> it looks like Hank Max is the most popular guy in... <laughs> It looks like Hape Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude allows you and follows you everywhere. Hmm. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. That's not what this... It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his ma one of his magician trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have a very classic decorative element. uses a cloak, a silk hat, and white roses as a his signature element symbol. Is he tuxedo mask now? Far from it. Well, let's think about this. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I could be his Usagi. <sighs> oh, jeez. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness, of course! Huh? T tell us about the eyewitness! Um... Are there any eyewitnesses? Oh, 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 you know I'm not going to tell you that! The prosecution's trump card! The prosecution's a bitch. Oh well. Oh. I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering the lodge house. Why is that? Oh, uh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because there's an eyewitness inside that lodging house. Let's check it out. What? Oh no you don't, pal! Come on, be nice to us! Come on! Oh wait, we have already done this one. We have already done this one. You gotta be nicer to me. I'm a sad girl right now.
I'm going to build a snowman. I guess it's time to move. Do you want to build a snowman, Nick? No, I do not. Come on, Nick. December 28th. Very big circus. Big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow. This is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Nick! Stay. Stay heal. I'm still here. I'm not dead! Yet. Nick? Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <coughs> Regent's such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. <coughs> Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Insensitive. That's right. The ringmaster was your. Yep. The ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about that. And why do you say you're sorry? Uh. Anyway, everyone was here. 
your pranks in my ceiling. Even your dad? Yeah, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. She was with that beast? That's what beast showed up. When they took me to check things out. Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish you would tell us more about her father. That's incredible. <clears throat> That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. Really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent's been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Of course. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Hmm. He died? Yeah, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? Um, I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get shunned when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, I don't know. Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Like what? Love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyway. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo? have some sort of strange power over them. She's Sailor Moon. You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. I could be her Ray. Me too. She's so cute. No, really, she's Sailor Moon. <laughs> Try on my clothes 
goes while well, I'm still in them. Check on our uh, client. She's so cute. I don't want to leave Usagi. I'll be back, Usagi. Huh? December 28th, Big Berry Circus. Circus entrance. Huh? Hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Hello? Wow. Sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. What? Uh, huh? <laughs> me? Yes. You work at the circus, don't you? Uh, no, no, no. I, I'm just an everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Y y yes, I am. I, I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. Hmm. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. <coughs> and I'm a spirit medium. The name's Maya. Just happened to be um, passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny? Not a c c carny. Uh, carny, I, I'm a p p performer, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm a v v ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? <laughs> I'm uh, b b b Benjamin w w Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? Yes, that's right. But, but everyone c calls me b b b b b Ben. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Yes, you mean me? About the murder, I'd like to ask you about the details, if I may. R really? I I I'm just a regular, normal guy. I'm I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. Max? He's, uh, um, uh, not, 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 not very nice. I, um, I am. Just, just a regular g g guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh. Uh, yes. Nick, don't yell. 
yell at him. You can't do that, man. Nice. I can't help it. He's making me nervous. I, um, right, right, and then that one, my, 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 he's contagious! for this one. This is probably going to be one voice I'm not going to enjoy doing. December 28th, lodging hall, first floor. Mo's room. Hello? Kablamo! Congratulations! You're the big winner! The one million visitor to the room of the one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me! Earplugs, us, fight, earplugs! To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for a organic grape? Just one? Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> I went start getting yet more than one! You as a human being to laugh! People who don't laugh are usually mad. See, they see! Catch my drift! <laughs> um, Maya? Just who 
so much competition! I love the circus! I love it too! That is why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running! No! No one stands in the clouds! Who's on us? This is what Detective Gumshoe was talking about? Mo was the eyewitness to this crime? The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time! He would always add new elements to the show! Performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my act can get a bit long and the tooth. <laughs> sometimes my jokes can be a bit old fashioned, a bit long in the tooth. But that but that make believer takes things too far! The magician! The, the one that thinks he's all the high and mighty! He had the gall to say to me, You're the one! You're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean by one of those? Well, the joke's on him now! On him? Yup! He's got on everyone's nerves! The day of the murder... Go ahead... Nope! No way! I just forgot I said... Just forget I said anything! I bet he's still hiding from the Max. You say you saw the crime? What you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zip. Lips here to make a make with the funny. Stiff lips. Wait, you don't mean me. Nick, you can do it. <laughs> What's the matter? Just getting ready, okay? Do you know 
why I Phoenix Wright am a great lawyer. Because I'm right all the time. At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job! Jeez, cut the guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over there. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. That night, once I had tucked up myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant swamp. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... Without question, without doubt, it was that magician! That's all I saw! But it just proves how terrible that man actually is! Knows more about Max than he's letting on. <laughs> if he thinks he can kill the Ringmaster, it's only just that he should be dead! Too. No. Sorry. I crossed the line. But he truly is a disgusting human being. I hate you so much. Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clung Ben right over the head, as hard as he could. You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves! The cafeteria? Let's just say, there's body. He beast. There's gotta be something interesting there. <laughs> ah, yes! The Big Berry Circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Um, snaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kill myself, really. Pete, I'm dying here. <laughs> Cornary. Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. check out the cafeteria if I know how to get there hey, from the big top there it is December 28th big top cafeteria ew this place is gross this must be because of last night they didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it the most said? He said that yesterday morning, Max clunked bed over the head here. He also said that there gotta be something interesting here. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Bottle or something? Juice! Phoenix, that's clearly a wine bottle! Ah! Watch out, Nick. The glass on the floor is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Broken 
golden ball just lying in the middle of the floor? be something interesting here. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet with me meet with him. Him? Are we talking to Ben again? Uh we're not going back to the clown, are we? No, it's not the clown. <laughs> you scared me. Center. Visitor's room. Mm. Max isn't here. He must be in questioning. Aww. I wanted to see a magic trick. He should be back in a little bit. I guess so. Okay, I guess I jumped the gun on that one. So I guess we do have to talk. Oh. What? I have to talk to him again. Yep. Why? I have no idea. I don't want to talk to the clown again. This is what you're talking about, clown? What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah! You want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you do. You tell a joke, imagine everyone wearing underwear. Uh, and I think that's enough advice for now. Nick, he was giving me good advice. He's so close-minded. Okay, I guess we don't have to talk to him. It's that uppity faker's uppity top hat. They found that at the scene of the crime, didn't they? That's right. I've been told. Unbelievable! That jerk killed the ringmaster! Let's try presenting that ball to Ben. Tidbit for someone. 
to read. Juicy. You know, like a fake clue. Maybe something like a message from the killer. Give it up, huh? You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. His room. His room? Yeah. <coughs> the back door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably, it's probably a good idea to check it out first myself. December 28th, Big Top. Ringmaster's room. This was the ringmaster's room. Yes. This room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that's what he said. I wonder what... Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Ah! It's a poster of Max. I want it. I want it, Nick. I want it. I want to get out of here. I'm going to take the poster. Nick, I'm taking the poster. I'm taking the poster off of the wall. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But... but you didn't even notice that I took one. <sighs> she already swiped one? I told you. <laughs> You're incorrigible. You know that. Poster. I got a Max poster. Got a Max poster. You may not know this, but they call that a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knows that. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. You already did one by swiping that poster. He's not gonna use it. He's dead, Nick. D-E-A-D, -E dead. It's a table for a guess. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. <laughs> Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician. The salary is incredible! She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th th that much?! Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago! Hmm. You're gonna have to show him that, Nick. And tell him to stop lying, lying like a lying liar that lies. I think that's all we can do here for now.
Uh, it's the same. We've Where already done that one too. Oh, it's my two sweeties! Welcome to the detention center! Did he just call me sweetie? Again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fantabuloso! I, I mean, fabulous! That's why we came to meet with you. Again. Whoa, 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 what, what's, what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Hmm. Okay, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. Last night, you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Exactly! We reached an agreement about the salary from my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies, and I hate lies even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Take that! The that, that's, that's! It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you were... that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation. Just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max. You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. Uh, Fa fabulous <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the truth. That night the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? 
Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The remaster called him? I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max. Perhaps you could share with me <coughs> what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you to his room la that night? Take that! Sweet Jesus, I'm just looking through Isn't all this. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? <coughs> The cafeteria. But you already mm. knew that, didn't you? Of... Of course. Uh, of course. I... I... It, it fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max! What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to... The bed. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. <laughs> Fabulous! You might as well be a magician! Yesterday morning, during breakfast, we had a run in. You mean, you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You... you could put it that way. We thought about my sweetie pie! Irbred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Bill Bread? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her? Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that he made me mad, and I had to tap him on his head. Hard. That was when the ringmaster called me, and I realized that was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room, and I laid it out on the table. I asked him to let me marry his sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's what my sweetie pie is. My sweetie pie. And no one else's. Hmm, I see. And since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. You don't know, do you, sweeties? Unless Ben and Trillo are together, Trillo can't say a word. Trillo? The puppet. The ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trillo Quist. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hid it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off of its balsa, I'd be screwed! You mean the ventriloquist's puppet? You are the smart one, sweetie! Uh -oh. Where 
What? Sweetie, you aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, sweets? No problem. Not at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Circus, circus entrance, December 28th. Oh, huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, he... I want to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. December 28th, Big Berry Circus, Big Top. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we are making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not s seeing how that's related. <coughs> it looks like the same as always. A great big mess. Turn on messages. But they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just stop it? Hit you poster pilfer. I'm kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of those posters? Yeah, uh... Let's focus on what Max told us. He said he hid Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Almost forgot about him. It's the only logical place to put a puppet. Nick, look at all the cute trophies! Indeed. Just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like... All Country Quiz Champions, Ringmasters Association, Mini Golf Master, Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ... Heck, Rooming Grand Prix? Wow. The ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could only have imagined. Hmm? There's something shoved under it, the bookshelf. This is... That's Trillo! That's Ben's puppet! I <laughs> think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. to carry this thing. Hey Nick, I'm a puppet. Give me a cash. <laughs> December 28th, <coughs> Big Top. Cafeteria. Oh, hey Ben! Oh, uh, um, uh, hello. Awfully cold today, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I am to um, do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Yes. 
yes, th 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 that's mine. That's mine! Here you go. All right, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Uh, uh, okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, maybe we should go... Uh... Oi! Wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here. Are you blind, wench? What's the problem, anyway? Don't you know how I'm from the great No, 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 uh, I would never.
Now, me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to. The rest is private. Second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah. December 28th, Big Berry Circus, Big Top. Uh, what in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair of those two. <laughs> oh no. Now what? <laughs> ah! Yo! Ah! Did that monkey just steal your badge? That monkey just stole your badge. What is it, Nick? Th th that monkey. Yeah, my badge. I thought so. That monkey stole it. I hate monkeys. What? <laughs> You, that monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? B -b 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 my attorney's badge! Okay. I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? Monkey is called Money. Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get it back?
go to Mo's. Hmm. I guess it's time that I revisit that monk cock kooky clown. Hall, first floor. Mo's room. Oh my! You visit Mr. Right all the time! <sighs> it's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? You already used that joke. In fact, I actually used that joke twice. Remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe you just pull my finger and let me have it. We're gonna get the same sound How'd you? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> Hall, third floor, Echo's room. <sighs> this is it? What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I <coughs> can't breathe. <coughs> Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. <sighs> anyway, this is the place. Acro's room. He's an acrobat. Acro. He's an acrobat. It, it seems like he's not around today. Ah, that's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got what the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Holy cow. There's a fork, a mirror. Everything's shiny. He's like a little dragon. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Wrist no, 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 no. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. It's a trophy, and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it. Your badge. It's right here. Thanks. You really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah. 
Check this out. It's a ring. There's something inscribed on it. From T to R. From Trilla to Regina. Regina. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. It's the baby. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got the magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Thus concludes today's episode of Let's Replay Phoenix Wright Justice for All. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe and like button, leave a comment if you want, and until tomorrow's trial, we will see you next time. This is Sword Darkchild and Ami Darkchild signing off. Bye -bye. Have a good night, folks!